Hi, my name is Brittany Garrick and I'm the Senior Editorial Manager at Hand to Mind. But before I became the Editorial Manager, I was a classroom teacher for 17 years. And one of the things that I found very difficult with especially my first and second graders was telling time. What I found is that we know that students start off by learning how, where to find numbers on a number line. So it would be nice to have a tool that would actually take something that they know and then turn it into something that they don't know. And it's actually something I did in my own classroom, but I didn't have this nice tool. I actually just used sentence strips um, to do the same type of activity. But I want to tell you about this actual tool. So when looking at a number line clock, one of the, th the great things about this one is that I can actually take off the hands and I can start teaching students to tell times using what we call a number line, which is actually something that kids already know how to do. So I'm gonna take something that is familiar to them like a number line. So if you look at the chain, so I'm gonna begin teaching telling time, just looking at a number line that they are used to. And so I might just start off using this number line and saying, where is five? And so students can take the hour hand, that's the hour hand, I'm not gonna tell them it's the hour hand right now, but I'm just gonna ask them to point to five. And so they can go right here and they can point to five. And then I might say, where is eight? And we can do the same thing and they can move it to eight. At times, later on, I'm gonna start using that clock language. But before I get to that clock language, I really wanna show kids, okay, so you just found where five and eight is on a number line. I want you to tell me, if I do something like this, I just took your number line, that number line, and what does this remind you of? And kids will automatically a lot of times go, oh, well that looks like a clock. And I will say, exactly. So that number line that we've been finding where five is and where eight is, actually turns into what we call a clock. We can insert it into our clock face and put that hour hand on, and now we can just find time to the hour, just like we were doing with the number line. Where is five o'clock? They can take it and move it to five. Where's eight o'clock? Same thing. But of course, we don't just tell time to the hour. We also tell time to the minutes, right? So either the, the one minute or the five minute. Um, so we're going to take that minute chain and we're gonna lay it out on that number line side we're gonna do the same type of activities. We might ask them what they notice, and so what I want them to notice is, oh wow, we could count by our five. So we could go five, 10, 15, 20. So we can practice that. We can also then practice, well, where do you see 25? And so, oh, it's in between the 20 and the 30. Where is 40? Same exact thing that we did earlier. And then we're gonna do the same thing where we're gonna take that minute hand, we're gonna put it just like in a circle so it looks like a clock face, and we're gonna add it to our clock. And what's really nice here is that now kids are going to see the full clock, see those relationships, and I can add that minute hand right here. So I could say, where is? 8.30. Well, we want to make sure that we're here, but we, what we also know is that when that happens, the kids have to physically move that hour hand in between the 8 and the 9. That's a really important piece. We can continue working. Where is 8.15? So I can move that back a little bit. There's 8.15. We can do all kinds of things but what was really important is we started with something that they knew, like a number line, and then something that they, that's not as familiar in telling time with the clock. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, subscribe to our channel. Check out the links below in the descriptions if you would like your own number line clock.